why do you accept this situation at U of M? That's what I don't get. Like, you still love your team. No one's asking you to not love your team or think your team's going to be good. But it would bother me that a QB competition that seems wholly unnecessary would stretch not only into year two, but into the regular season. Like, for what? Make a call and go with it. It just seems silly to me. So, you do what you want with it. David, oh, Kenny's got some Cheetos. That'll uh, a big 5 o'clock ahead for him. All right, what do you got? Two QBs worked last year. Why can't it work again? That uh, is from Mike. Mm, oh, Christ. Mm-hmm. It was like they heard me in the break. Is that, <laughs> the, is that the best we can do? Yeah. No, no, no. Like when you sit back, like you're an adult. You texted that in. It means you pay for your own cell phone. That's the best you could come up with. Well, it worked last year. That's like saying you played in traffic and didn't get run over, so let's do it again. It's just a dumb take. Like, Christ, can we be better? No, because you got everything that you wanted last season. So, yeah. you. It means he now has my full trust. He ran the ball when I thought that you should be passing the ball. He played two QBs when I thought you should have picked one. And you beat Ohio State. And so maybe doing the opposite works. And everything that he touched, Mike, it's if, if you're a Michigan fan, if you're a Harbaugh fan, how do you dispute this? Easy. Because it, it was year seven when he did it. But it, Everything he did almost defied logic, but it right. worked. Okay. And it happened once. Do you so, want it to happen again? Then you better start doing logical things. That's how the big boys do it. Kirby Smart doesn't make his living doing the illogical. Nick Saban doesn't do the illogical even Dabo Sweeney doesn't do illogical like your job as the CEO of a hundred million dollar a year program be logical and he's a quarterback he knows who he wants to play don't give me this idea that he's indecisive about it that's 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 bold if if anything about Jim Harbaugh is true it's that the the guy makes a call and he goes with it I don't want to hear about I mean that that is I think you've nailed this this has been all about trying to thread a needle so neither guy leaves. Mm-hmm. And I think that's 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 laughable. Your job is to and win I a guess, national title. What's going to get me closer? Plant the flag and go. And I guess at this point, if... It, well, J.J.'s a... Uh, what, is he sophomore. Red sophomore. So either neither, either one has one more year at Michigan. So I guess you're... Yeah, you are kind of screwed. Because I'm thinking, well, you know what? If that's the case, just give it to J.J. He's got a longer career at Michigan, but... Kay's going to be gone after this season. Is he? Doesn't every kid have a COVID year? Couldn't he just stick around oh, and play again? Yeah, you're right. Mike, you see where we're heading yeah, with this? Yeah, you're right. I, I think I'm right on that. I don't know that I'm right. I no, think every, I'm no right. every year, every kid does have a COVID Well, hell, Sean season. Clifford's in like year 14 yeah. at Penn State. I assume there's a COVID year mixed in there. David, go ahead. What do you got? Yeah, Clifford's 35. <laughs> Sean Clifford's older than Rico. <laughs> He's still at Penn State. If Cade opted to transfer rather than compete, then he isn't the QB and leader you think. He's fighting for his job, and that shows it's a good, healthy competition. Oh, my God. I know. You people truly okay, are. Okay, here's the You're thing. You're cult members. It, it you could, are. It, or it could just be, I feel like I'm in a losing battle. There's nothing else I can do. You don't want me here. So yeah, I'm going to go someplace words. else. Guys, we, we got to let go of the whole, like, Junction Boys era thing. It's called a business decision. Players are making business decisions. No, it doesn't mean he's a coward or it doesn't mean he's not a good leader. You know what it means? I'm tired of the bull. I led you to your first Big Ten title in, what, 17 years. I beat Ohio State. I didn't, lo- I didn't lose the Michigan State game. I, that's not my fault. And yet, I still haven't earned your trust to be the starter. I'm going to make a business decision. It's no different than what you do in relationships. You're making decisions to be with people who value you. If someone doesn't value you, you don't stay. But if you're a cult member, you just demonize those who leave. Mm -hmm. Some of you need your head checked. You're insane. He's not tough enough. That's crazy to me. He shows no leadership. No, I mean, it's just insane to me. Like It's, I don't know. And for me, it's like, I just want to see them make a pick and let's go. Let's play football. I think the idea of shuffling quarterbacks is goofy. Remember all the times last year and you saw it on the sidelines? There were a couple of times Cade McNamara was visibly upset being taken out of those games. You think that's going to get better year two?
of doing this. I just think it's unnecessary chaos. That's all. Someone says, why would Harbaugh rush the decision? We have a cupcake schedule to start the year and can figure it out then. Well, then we're losing to Iowa. Yeah, yeah, rush the decision. He had all last year and all offseason this year. If 18 months isn't enough to make the decision, boy, oh boy. <laughs> I really wish we could do like an accurate census data of Michigan fans. Like, are you okay with this competition? Yes or no? Should be simple enough for some of them. Wow. Uh, here, let me help you out here. Just thinking about Sean Clifford. You know who was in the same class as him coming into college? Saquon? Mm, hold on, let me see. <laughs> Najee <laughs> Harris. Going into year two in the NFL. Chase Young. Jeff Okuda. Donovan Peoples-Jones. T. Higgins, Jerry Judy. Wow. Guys going into year three of their NFL career. Yeah. <laughs> but it was DeAndre Swift. Tua Tunga Valoa. Yeah. I guess, yeah. <laughs> so he is 35. I mean, damn close. J.K. Dobbins. Yeah. Wow. Just to put it in perspective, he's still in college. <laughs> You're talking about guys who are going to is going into year three in the NFL. <laughs> <laughs> I got nothing. Hey man, look, I got I, nothing. <laughs> I didn't do I didn't do anything mean spirited. I tried to talk football, but you just you, you you can't communicate with cult members. No, you just can't do because it. Because if, if one leaves, then they're not tough enough. Like, I don't think JJ's a hang. bad guy if he left. JJ's looking out for himself and his career. Or Cade, it's the same thing. I just can't believe they have hoodwinked two young men into thinking you're going to be the guy. Mm -hmm. That's crazy to me. Yeah. In today's NIL world? I didn't think... I thought it was difficult last year. I didn't think it was no way in hell you can get them both to come back this year. Yeah, I, I thought... By the end of spring, somebody is going to take the mantle and move forward. And especially after what Cade did. Yeah, beating, first of all, the way they murdered Iowa. And then, look, they beat Ohio State. The how they beat Ohio State? It, it, it wasn't close. Ohio no. State can't point back and say, well, if this one play didn't happen. No, 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 no. Uh, you just flat out beat them. If these 17 plays didn't right. happen. Right. If you just didn't get off the bus, then maybe this would have right. been a better they game. kicked Ohio State's ass. It was... It was probably the best Michigan, singular Michigan game in 20 years. So my point is, I is really it, thought J.J. would just take off. I'm, David, did Ohio State ever have the lead in that game? No. I think it was tied 